everyone and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for uh, November the 26th through December the 2nd. And this is uh, for your sun, moon and rising. So if you know your uh, moon and rising as well, check those uh, videos out. All links, pertinent links will be in the show more section below. Um, this is a Listen, this is a general reading, guys. So if you would like a personal reading, click on this link here. Um, also, check me out on uh, Patreon. Patreon is a way to give back to creators. And actually, I am I'm working on a book. Um, so it would really help me if you could um, support me there. And if you would like to check that out, click on here. Okay, so without further ado, guys, I'm going to go straight to your readings. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your reading for November the 26th through November the, uh, sorry, through December the 2nd. And I'm going to be looking over here. I'm looking at your chart. Uh, you are the fifth highest viewed video. And so you're going fifth as opposed to 12. I used to do them all in... Um, order but now I'm doing it in the order of the highest um, to the lowest viewed video so you are going to be number five and I'm going to give you your horoscope while I'm shuffling shuffling your cards now um, I'm just going to do a quick intention here okay this is for Pisces Pisces for November the 26th through December the 2nd what wonderful blessings, guidance, and helpful information can you give Pisces for this coming week? Now, guys, it is Sunday. Normally I get videos out on Saturday, but I wasn't feeling well and I had a writing um, deadline. So I had to have tea and just write. So today I'm hoping to get this up by tonight. It's Sunday and it's the 25th. And last week I said the sun conjunct... Mercury on the 25th is actually tomorrow, Monday the 26th. And darling, it hasn't happened in 12 years in Sagittarius. Just so you know, this is for your sun, moon and rising, guys. Uh, check out the other videos in the show more section below. There's links down there. And you have, oh wow, you have the sun conjunct um, Jupiter in your house of career, this, oh wow, this is like, things are really going to take off for you, uh, Pisces, in a really big way. This is an opportunity. Look, um, Jupiter's bigger, better, more expansion. The sun is creativity, uh, shining on, I mean, it's just shining a light on that. Things can really, you can get, you could get a new job. You could get a, a promotion, probably a promotion um, a raise, opportunities, and then, <coughs> excuse me, uh, particularly if you're in the creative field, any kind of visual arts or writing, on, sun, on, on Tuesday, you've got Mercury's conjunct at various times during the day, both the sun and Jupiter. So you have three planets together in your house of career, um, which is communication, and thought processes, and you have expansion. You know, Jupiter's about philosophy, higher learning. This is intelligent. Your mind will be razor sharp. You are going to be on fire. Uh, there's going to be no doubt about it. Brilliant ideas. Listen, take this opportunity. Hold on one second. Let me do this. This is clarifying. This is clarifying for Pisces, please. For November, these clarifying cards for November the 26th through December the 2nd. Please clarify. Um, so, clarify for. So, listen, things are really going to take off in a big way for you career wise. Uh, this is really exciting. Definitely tackle something creative. Definitely. Either, you know, because it could be writing, it could be visual, whatever it is for you. Um, what If there's a creative project that you can tackle, do so. It's going to take, it will take off for sure. Now, um, you have, what's the next thing that's going on? You have uh, Venus opposing Uranus. 
Um, now, and of course, let me go back. Jupiter rules your sign, darling. So that's fantastic. Um, now, this is your house of transformation. Uh, this is going to be a house of trans. This, darling, this is deep psychic powers. You have them anyway. This is really connecting to the ethereal realm in a major way. Now, um, so trust your gut feeling, you know, get meditate, connect with, uh, connect with spirit. Now on Saturday, you have Mercury moving into, uh, Scorpio and that is your house of transformation, darling. This is it. And you've actually got, oh no. Yeah, it's going to be in your ninth house of philosophy. Well, this is really interesting because this could be doing research on like a, on a travel, on travel plans. Don't, don't solidify any plans until after, uh, until after December the 7th when Mercury goes direct. Because Mercury is going direct. These are about really deep, uh, really deep thoughts. You know, look. If you're a novelist, if you're a writer and you're creating, uh, if you're writing, this is really brilliant creative abilities. Um, getting to the bottom of something. Finding answers in archives, that kind of thing. And then you've got, uh, you've got Venus moving into Scorpio too. This could be a power struggle. Um this could be you questioning spirituality. Uh, this could be you searching uh, for a spiritual outlet. This could be <clears throat> this could be you um, questioning the existence of God, even. So listen, this is about power and manipulation. So uh, resist the urge to manipulate, resist the urge to dominate. This is searching for a deeper meaning in life, for sure for you guys. This is you searching for a more meaningful existence. And, you know, I, I think you really have this, in, oh, definitely psychic power is, is, I think you can kind of heal psychically too. Now, on Sunday, in your... Um, house of uh, career and actually Mars is in your first house of identity right and it's in your sign um, it's in the sign of Pisces you could react emotionally to something and it's probably someone at work or somebody who has uh, it could be kind of ego based right and it's somebody who has probably um, hierarchy somebody who's above you like a boss or something like that you might want to really react emotionally and say something that you could re regret um refrain from doing that we all kind of has have to do that but this could go into monday and maybe you work on the weekend some of you but don't think before you speak pisces don't react like hold back you're good at holding back too don't resist that urge to jump down someone's throat. Re just resist it because it will play out better for you in the uh, in the long run. And that's um, your astrological, uh, that's your horoscope. And now let's go to your cards. Now, the first card out for you is, the <laughs> this is the page of swords, darling. This is about holding back on, you know, saying something cutting. Um, it could be that your boss could say something to you and it could be the truth. And actually, that's what I think I'm probably getting, that somebody is going to deliver the truth to you and it's going to hurt your feelings. It's going to hurt your ego. You are not going to feel good about this. Um, and you're going to, you could be up in your head and really, you know, you're going to be really deeply, because you're sensitive anyway, and this is really going to get you. Um but when this comes in, it's like, look, sometimes people can tell us the truth and it, and we, we're like, <gasps> um, but what I always try to do is I take this truth and I, I retreat. I don't react. I don't get defensive. 
I come back and I say to myself, okay, what can I own of this? What, what is really the truth for me? What can I take away from this? What can I change? And, you know, sometimes there's something in there that I have to own. And, yeah, you've got the five of water. So this could be, you know, things have not worked out the way you planned it. You know, your boss may be telling you something or your supervisor. Somebody's telling you something that you don't want to hear and you're focusing on that, what hasn't worked out, as opposed to what has and you have the messenger of water. This is the message of love, darling. So look, when this, don't worry about this. This is not the end of something. This person is telling you something because they want to help you. Their intention really isn't to hurt you, but you're all emotional and you are not happy. You're feeling, you're feeling, um, you're feeling that pain of somebody telling you that, you know, stuff you don't want to hear. And you're focusing on it. Look, you see, she's like, oh, no. Well, this is saying focus on the solution. Focus on what can work. Take what you've got, mull it over and say, OK, what can I do with that truth? Maybe I can change something. When you are in that energy, you're no longer hurt right? You don't feel that hurt. And then you can come from a place of love. Look at that beautiful. This is a, this is a message of love for you, right? Love yourself because when you love and respect yourself, you can take criticism and you can take it in a constructive way and you can change things and do things differently. You don't have to be defensive. None of us want to hear this. We don't, but we can grow from it and we can flourish because of it. The next card you have is the 10 of wands. And this is saying that you've taken on too much at work. And look, there's the, mo I have a feeling that perhaps you haven't been able to um, follow through on a lot of things because you're not looking at your, um, when this card comes up, it's saying, look at your, uh, look at yourself honestly and and the, I always say that this is like the people pleasing card, right? So you're saying, yes, yes, I can do it. And you really mean it, right? But then when the chips, you know, when the chips fall, you really can't do it. It's impossible. You've got too much responsibility. So you must delegate and you must kind of be honest and truthful with yourself and look at your limitations. Um, somebody's telling you about those limitations anyway. Um, so you have to really take a look at it and you've got to let go of some of this responsibility. And this can be also kind of a control thing. You know, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Nobody can do it like me. Well, yes, perhaps if you just had one or two or three things, but when you've got all this, it's holding you back. This is burdens. These are burdens that are holding you back. You need to let go. Um, and this is like, look, this is like ending this and it's like a new possibility. And look, what's really wonderful is you've got the, this is an opportunity to heal, darling. Remember I said that? This is a real opportunity for you to heal. This is about spreading light where there was once darkness. This is deep spiritual, emotional and physical healing. So this is an opportunity. Oops, I dropped one. This is an opportunity um, for you to really look at the truth and heal, move forward. And look, you've got the ace of the earth, an opportunity, darling. Things will manifest for you in a really good way when you drop some of these um, responsibilities. And then look, you've got the star again. This is a really amazing opportunity for you to heal, for you to really grow spiritually and emotionally. And look, you've got patience. And it's saying, be patient. Things are really going to work out for you. Don't be in defensiveness. Come back. Take an honest look at yourself. Sometimes it's very hard for us to look at ourselves honestly, particularly in this energy with the sun, with Jupiter and with Mercury. It's hard for us to kind of take a step back and look at ourselves because we're blinded by the light, right? We're blinded by all that incredible energy. And also we can really feel that energy in a negative way when this happens. But don't let this bring you down. Don't let it bring you down emotionally. 
take it as a very positive thing, something that you need to hear and it's something you need to change in order for you to move forward and for things to work out. You, be patient, darling. And don't react emotionally because that's what we're going, that's the tendency for all of us to react emotionally when the sun is square to Mars. Pisces, thank you so much for watching, for being, for viewing my, um, my video so much, for uh, liking it. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media and comment and give me feedback that feeds my soul. Also, it helps my uh, video get viewed more. So next week, you'll be the first. <laughs> um, uh, listen, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah, I love you all and I'll see you next week. <laughs>